When you're about to prepare meals for yourself or your family, what are some of the tools you use to cook the food? A stove? A grill? An oven? And what kind of energy sources do each of them use? Typical household appliances are powered by electricity or clean burning gases like natural gas and propane, but these energy sources aren't easily accessible for everyone around the world. One country in particular that is majorly affected by limited clean fuel sources is Nigeria. Nigeria is more or less facing a cooking energy crisis because the available cooking energy, energy systems are not working anymore. Kerosene, on the average in Nigeria, sells for almost, uh, almost uh, four or five dollars. So that's, that's pretty expensive. Because of the high prices for kerosene, the people of Nigeria have to depend on other fuel sources like firewood and charcoal to cook at a huge cost to the health of families. And besides, the supply of these is becoming more and more scarce every day. The issue of cooking, I mean, uh, that's one of the basic requirements of mankind. Why is cooking important? The one in Russia. And it's cool the cooking in an energy crisis happening in Nigeria has inspired many individuals and organizations around the globe to support improvements in health, economic status, and quality of life for all families living in the developing world. A prominent figure in bioenergy solutions for Nigeria is Harry Stokes, who has developed, funded, and managed the revolutionary Project Gaia. Project Gaia is a nonprofit organization that was founded by a group of energy experts dedicated to pioneering the use of clean burning alcohol fuels for cooking. As it happens, methanol fuel is an excellent cooking fuel and all around utility fuel. It's basically natural gas in a liquid form, which is cheap to make and which burns very, very cleanly. And that's, in fact, one of the things that Project Gaia is focused on, is clean combustion. Because one of our objectives is to reduce or eliminate indoor air pollution in the homes of 3 billion people across the world who currently cook with us smoky, dirty fuels. And we seek to replace these dirty and dangerous cooking systems with a clean burning fuel and a safe modern stove you switch from wood or charcoal or kerosene to methanol, you're switching from a high carbon fuel to a high hydrogen fuel. And hydrogen is generally very clean to burn, where these heavy carbon fuels, uh, they tend to be very polluting when they burn. When you burn methanol, you're producing essentially carbon dioxide and water vapor. And this is why methanol is such a terrific fuel. Around the world, it's estimated that over 3 billion people are forced to depend on solid fuels for cooking. Cooking with solid fuel is not an easy task. In contrast, when a family receives a modern methanol fuel stove, they simply turn on the stove light the stove as you would light a gas stove, and then they're cooking. In order to move forward on a solid and effective methanol stove strategy, Project Gaia has teamed up with Gas Techno to build and operate a mini methanol plant in Nigeria. On November 30th, 2016, the two companies entered into an agreement to plan the first new mini-scale methanol plant destined for Nigeria. It is to begin distribution of carefully packaged methanol along with the methanol stoves to selected retail locations. Gas Techno Mini Methanol was chosen by Project Gaia after several years of evaluating different small scale methanol technologies. The scale of the Gas Techno 300 unit will produce an alcohol blend of methanol and ethanol with volumes of 4,684 liters a day, or about 1,400 tons a year. This is the ideal volumes for strategic and remote locations where the cost of methanol and ethanol can remain far cheaper than LPG, kerosene, and other sources of competing carbon-based fuels. This new partnership between Gas Techno and Project Gaia will strategically begin in Nigeria, but already growing interest from India, 
China, Central Asia, and other areas in Africa are moving toward a clean burning, safe, and healthy cooking experience for families. The goal of this first project will be to demonstrate how many methanol plants developed by Gas Techno combined with one of the most preferred fuels for cooking stoves can solve the growing cooking crisis for the poor and less affluent families all over the world. For more information on mini methanol plants by Gas Techno or on methanol cooking stoves, please contact the following emails. <laughs>